Hello again. We are in the phase where some of the children that have been through the valley of death, and it's never good, it's not pretty, um, are coming out of it. And I fall in love with all of them. It's brilliant. You see a snapshot of their adult selves in their best when, when, when they're out of it. And I think, I often wonder what's going on here, and there are all sorts of things, but I think they're also learning about trust, that they don't have to invent everything themselves, and that the people around them will love them. One little girl is pushing the edges. I think she'd been really very naughty. And um, she just cried. And I said, well, you had your moment of triumph, didn't you? And it felt good. She, she'd done something bad just to get her own back on her parents. And then, of course, when they found out. I said, and then, and then you just felt humiliated and shamed, didn't you? Okay, your parents still love you. Yeah, your dad didn't kill you, and he could have done, couldn't he? <laughs> and I, but he chose not. He chose not to, because I think under the circumstances, he so could. He really was the last straw. But he didn't. He's a good man. I know. Um, I think she'll be on the up now. Other ones are entirely through it. And my goodness, are they in a good place? It's great. Others are just going into it. Um, for them, just know everything will go wrong. Um, and that's okay. It's a normal part of learning anything new or doing a big project. There comes a point you just want to get off and it all goes wrong. And sort of you go into a, a, a steep um, downward decline. Um, just have the courage to keep going. It's okay. It is normal. Everybody does it. Um, you'll come out better. At a higher place. Um, yeah, as parents, if your parents have seen this enough in their own lives to know it's normal, then they love you enough to look after you. To, you know. What else have we got? Um, oh, yes, we're getting ready for the next lot of mocks. They're on the 18th and 25th of June and the 2nd of July. It's all the things you have to remember. It's things like taking spare batteries, so in case the clocks go, or spare loo roll. Or I used to take spare clothes in case children have accidents. They come in so many different sizes these days. You have to kind of have a whole suitcase full. So I just sort of make sure there's something, a couple of big cardies or something. Um, but it's quite exciting. It's, I've never known a year go so fast as this one. Um, absolutely, there's something that's made it go. How did we get this far? We've only got a few more weeks of this term. Then some holidays couple of weeks and the exam. But um um ooh. but after that second one it's Founders Day. Now if you've got a boy that you're considering for bishops, go to Founders Day. You will learn much more about the school than you will in the um open um afternoons that are coming up. Um have a look out for all of that. It will be on the all the school sites for their open days. Have a look at lots of them. Um and have it just but the founders day is the place oh, my favorite day of the year you see all these ex pupils and some of them will scuttle off you think taught you you can't hide um and others just come and say like, it's great 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 i wish i wish the other schools had a similar sort of event at which sort of everyone could go to um but now have a good look at founders day absolutely brilliant i mean it's a service and then a sort of like um fate but you know Ooh, what else we got oh you know <laughs> the mooning we've got this um cheeky stone statue in in the garden go oh <laughs> look at my tattoo um the kids the younger ones dressed her up in a hoodie and a baseball cap the other way and morley's who that idea it was to invest in this um and it came out of his gardening budget so you know, you go with it, don't you? Um, he had a complete sense of humour failure. How? How? You know? And then one of the 11 plus parents, God bless me, uh, him, him, said, uh, yeah, well, you know, you might develop a taste for it. You'll end up with loads of them all over the place, like garden moons. Anyway, I could go with that. I'm going to have to tighten the budget right up. At the moment, as those of you that know about these things can tell because of my stony background, I am in Pembrokeshire, and darling Pembrokeshire, do you know, 
it is the world's best place. It's like Cornwall without the crowds. Even in the middle of June, you can still get the whole beach to yourself. Um, absolutely marvellous. Um, best kept secret in Britain. So I'm out there telling everyone. But they advertise, they do advertise it, and they've got the most beautiful adverts you've ever seen. I'm not a great fan of adverts, but these ones are truly works of art. And they have sort of, it's like the 1930s uh, railway art, you know those ones? And it says, um, fall in love again in Pembroke. Isn't that lovely? But they're just a couple holding hands, looking out over the seas. Um, tad sentimental, but yeah, why not? That's what we go on holiday for. And, uh, and where they got this, these beautiful posters? In the middle of Pembroke. Pembroke. If you're already in Pembroke, you have discovered Pembrokeshire. Have they got them anywhere else? I don't think they do. Or if they have, I've never seen them. So come to Pembrokeshire. It's brilliant. It's nice. They speak English. You still get Tesco's. Still have the NHS. And the roads are good. You don't get many potholes around here. Not compared with Wiltshire, I can tell you. So if you want a pothole-free holiday, here's your place. Right, on that note, I better love you and leave you. Bye-bye.